Today in feminist hate, feminist hatred of men, we have a post on Reddit. Off the subreddit, true, off my chest. And no, we're not talking about transition surgeries or gender affirming surgeries, taking chest off your chest. We're talking about women who feel like they can't say this in public, but post it on Reddit. Let's see what she has to say. Her title, and this is from a no K, no key, no key, whatever. I'm starting to dislike men. Oh, whew. Join the line, woman. Join the line. Nobody likes men. We don't get any subsidies. We don't get any healthcare resources. We don't get any affirmative action jobs. We don't get any tax resources. We don't get free housing. We don't get food stamps as easily. Nobody likes men anyhow. This is not a unpopular opinion. Well, let's see why she doesn't like men. I'm 25. <coughs> <coughs> oh, disgusting. I normally don't brag about my appearance. It's an annoying thing to do, but I've been put on a pedestal since I was young because of my appearance. Okay. Let's explain this. That may be true. You are not young and beautiful. You're beautiful because you're young. Once you're 35, you're not going to be on that pedestal. I don't know why. I don't know why nobody teaches women the source of their power. The source of a woman's power is her fertility. Period. Once your fertility dries up, you get no extra woman power. You got to play the game like a man. Although it's harder to do that as a woman. Because you're not used to playing the game like a man. You're used to getting privileges, benefits, because you're a young woman due to your fertility. But once your fertility goes away, it's a harsh fall. You're falling off the pedestal, smack into a reverse wall. What's happening? She says, when I was a child, I was the guy's crush at the school and all the adults would compliment me. Oh, would well, you have a husband? Okay, let's assume you're conventionally beautiful. Have a husband? Staying at home? Raising your kids? Huh. I know. When I was in high school, I was popular because of my appearance. Appearance. I receive a lot of stares in public places as well. That's nice. Must be nice being the most privileged entity in existence. I'm not picky. I don't think I deserve the best of the best. I don't believe that. I just don't believe that. Guarantee you this woman would never date a man shorter than her. So she's picky a little bit. I actually have a pretty high sex drive. Uh-oh, we got a salute. We have a sluty, sluty, sluty flute. A slute playing her slute flute. A.K.A. her puniti lips flapping in the wind, making this sound. <laughs> She says, I have a high sex drive and I've had a decent amount of partners. Oh, 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 the inside of her wall is like the Coliseum with all the gladiators putting graffiti up. Chattis Maximus III, dust conquest this pussy in 3000 BC. Ugh, disgusting. She says, what I'm tired of is how literally all men pretend to give a damn about me only to start treating me like an object once they get what they want. Oh. Once men find out I'm a sleut, they stop treating me like a queen. This is, look, women will pretend the bad boys they choose to have sex with is a proper representation of all men. You're not having sex with five foot two guys. You're not having sex with traditional, actual Christian guys. You're not having sex with nerds. You're not having sex with family focused individuals. You are having sex with dudes whose main concern is having sex with attractive women. Okay? And there's a lot of them. But you want you want to choose the best. Right? There's a five foot five guy and a six foot three guy. Which one are you gonna if they're both just gonna smash and dash? Which one are you gonna choose? The six foot three guy. And he has every single other woman you know on his phone. He doesn't need to treat you well. Now here's the here's the real red pill. Men don't treat you well because 
you do not deserve to be treated well. If you actually deserve to be treated well, you wouldn't be associating with these men. You wouldn't be giving out your body like a library book at the start of summer break. All the poor kids, Ronna concluded, have to go to the library. Get books for the summer. Huh? So, she says, what I'm tired of is getting smashed and dashed, basically. This is just the most recent example, but there is something that has already happened dozens of times. <laughs> oh, it's just, it's a, every day I wake up and a new guy comes over to make me breakfast and rearrange my guts and I don't know what's happening. <laughs> oh, <laughs> I don't like men anymore. <laughs> Oh, oh, but Lord forbid you have a woman who pledged to God to stay by your side forever, destroy your finances, take your kids from you, put you in debt, and then fuck another dude in your house in front of your kids. Oh, no, that's just one one. You just chose the wrong woman. You can't hate woman. I have no emp I have no empathy for these floozies. I don't. Oh, dozens of after the third dozen of the month, I realized maybe I'm taking too much zinc. She says, I made friends with this guy in January. He seemed to be a good guy. He would even say, thanks for your friendship. I was going through a hard time in, your, in my life. Your presence makes me feel better. Ooh. Uh-oh. She said, after a while, I was like, I wouldn't mind having sex with him. And that's how it started. After he had sex with me the first time, he stopped being a friend and would literally only call me when he was horny. And then started calling me a cum dump. Oh, <laughs> 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 uh, uh, <laughs> Depressed Chad strikes again. I'm uh, going through a hard time in my life. One pussy unit later. Yo, cum dump, come over here and drain. My sad zinc juices. <laughs> oh, I'm not joking. I'm not begging for attention like, oh, guys, being pretty is hard. I'm happy guys want to have sex with me. What I'm not happy is that, that they never seem to care about me as a person. <laughs> well, because you don't deserve to be cared about as a person. You don't. If you wanted to be cared about as a person, you would date a guy who would care about you as a person, but you're not attracted to them. You're not. You want depressed Chad to leave SSRI laced semen inside of you. That's what you want. That's what you deserve. That's what you get. You're, all of these problems are your own doing. You're not going to change these men. You're not. You're not going to turn a Chad into a Prince Charming. You're not going to make Chad simp for you. Does that upset you? Are, you? are you mad that you can't make this grizzled, sexually experienced, aggressive guy treat you like your prom date did? Well, guess what? I can't get this bipolar chick with purple hair and a nose ring with a split tongue that gives the best head I've ever had. I can't make her a submissive housewife. I can't turn a hoe into a housewife. You can't turn a Chad into a simp. It doesn't work like that. Accept it. Goodness sakes. What if you marry, what if you marry a virgin, Undead Chronic? And what if she doesn't give you the best sloppy top of your life? And? So? You, you think I'm going to marry a chick because she gives the best sloppy top? I don't need to marry a chick for sloppy top. What the, what the hell? What, 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 what do you, bro? What do you mean? You didn't put a mortgage, a reverse mortgage on your house to rent a ski boat. Get the hell out of here, bro. He says, or she says. A lot of women complain about just being used. Well, you let yourself be used. So nothing, <laughs> nothing I can help you with there. She says, I think it's fair to say a lot of men are like this. Oh, all the, a lot of men that you talk to. The men that you are sexually attracted to treat you like garbage. That's a you problem. Yeah, there's some decent out there for sure, 
but it'd still be nice if decent men weren't so rare. Well, it'd be nice if uh, virgins weren't so rare, but I don't get that. I don't get that. Uh, that luxury. I don't. So I'm sorry that you have a loose puniti. Uh, I'm sorry that depressed Chad smashes those cheeks. Actually, I take it back. I'm not sorry. You deserve absolutely all the misery you are showing. It is time to reap what you sow, Thadiana.